I'm Jeff Angel, director of the Boomerang Alliance of 55 allied non-government groups in Australia. We spent over 13 years campaigning for DRS in Australia. And this year, 2024, we're going to be seeing the implementation of DRS in every state and territory in Australia. So we are the first continent on the planet to have a fully covered uh, deposit return scheme, and it's going great. Two main reasons, uh, enormous problem with litter. As you know, we have Clean Up Australia Day, which is actually about to start in a few weeks' time. And there were just enormous amounts of beverage, uh, plastic and bottle and can litter. And uh, the public were getting quite sick of it. They were getting sick of having to pick it up and they wanted a more permanent solution. Uh, the other reason is the circular economy. Uh, DRS produces a very clean stream of material, uh, has a higher value, and it can then go back into making cans and bottles. And because of the amount of clean material now being produced by our DRS, billions and billions of bottles and cans every year, there are now big plants being built to use that material to turn them back into beverage containers. So it's a full regulated circular economy solution. Uh, we found that similar in Australia, there were quite a lot of money uh, uh, spent on opposing the introduction of DRS. Uh, but once we got it through, you now find the big beverage companies are in fact champions of DRS. They're proud to be part of it. They cooperate with the government. Uh, they communicate about the benefits of it. And now everyone is on the, on the same page and very proud of the DRS. And of course, it is incredibly popular with the public. There, has, there is no opposition from the public once it's brought in. There are lots of fears or speculations about the problems that you might have. But once it comes in, all that disappears and there's an incredible community, government, business, environment group proud to have that uh, uh, scheme. There aren't any systemic or long-term drawbacks. There are obviously early implementation issues, uh, getting enough refund points for consumers so that it's convenient for them uh, to take it to a refund and collection point. Uh, there's obviously uh, the need to engage with new businesses and set up big depots. So once you get over those problems in about 12 months, the scheme starts building up and collecting more and more uh, bottles and cans over the years. Well, not really, because over 40 jurisdictions already have DRS, so we look very closely at them and the issues they had. Uh, it is true to say that every jurisdiction uh, does develop its own particular form of DRS, not the basic underpinnings, but how many containers or types of containers are eligible, uh, the refund level, uh, and the types of refund points that are provided to the community and uh, community and charity groups. So once you develop a scheme that fits your jurisdiction, uh, it basically operates as per the models that are operating all over the world. My advice to politicians is once you get a DRS in, it's incredibly popular. The beverage industry stops making noise. Uh, industry starts investing in reprocessing and bottle-to-bottle -bottle plants. And you have an incredible example of a circular economy that's unbelievably popular with the public. So just get over some of the uh, opposition. Uh, it's not serious. They will come on board. They will help implement it. And in fact, industry as well as the community will become incredible champions of DRS. <laughs>